1. The world's stingiest man went Christmas shopping, but everything he saw was too expensive except a $50 vase that was on sale for $2 because the handle had been broken off. He bought it and had the salesman ship it by mail so that his friend would think he had paid $50 for it and that it had been broken in shipment. A week after Christmas he received a thank you note from his friend. Thank you for the lovely vase, his letter said. It was so nice of you to wrap each piece separately. 2. How did school go today? A mother asked her little boy. Fine, the little fellow said. We had a new teacher and she wanted to know if I had any brothers and sisters and I told her I was an only child. What did she say? His mother asked. She said, thank goodness. 3. Elmer, aren't you getting hard of hearing lately? Yes, I am, Elmer said. And I went to see the doctor about it. What did he say? He said if I didn't quit drinking so much I'd get as deaf as a post. Are you going to quit? No, Elmer said. I tried it two weeks. My hearing improved all right, but I went back to drinking because I liked what I was drinking more than what I was hearing. 4. A college boy was chatting with a classmate. You looked down in the dumps. What happened? Did you flunk a course? Oh, no, his friend said. Suddenly, I feel as though I have been betrayed. I wrote home for money to buy a study desk and guess what? My folks sent me a study desk. 5. The young college girl wrote this letter to her mother. Dear mother, everything is going fine at school. I met the most wonderful young man I've ever known. He is a junior. He plays football, is studying to be a doctor, makes excellent grades and is tall and handsome. I have had eight dates with him and have worn all eight of my dresses. Now, I need something to wear next week because he has invited me to go to the theater with him. Will you please send $25 for a new dress? Her mother replied, no need for any new clothes. Find a new boyfriend and start all over. 6. The candidate and his wife finally arrived home late at night. When they had removed their shoes and fallen onto the living room couch almost exhausted, the candidate said, oh, am I tired? This has been some day. I am exhausted. Me, too, said his wife. I can't remember when I've been so tired. You tired? Her husband said. I'm the one who made seven speeches today. Why are you so tired? Because, said his wife, I had to listen to every one of them.